That whole immigration shit's got fucking those Mexicans scared, man. Cause that's, I mean, they're not gonna, listen, I know Mexicans don't freak out. Not, they don't want all the Mexicans, you know. But they just want those little fuckers from Oaxaca. <laughs> You ever seen those little fuckers? They always, they always peek through that little window in the kitchen, they look at it, and if they see white people, they go, fuck them. <laughs> nos vieron, wey, nos vieron. <laughs> but you gotta understand, they say they're gonna take you. This is what they have. This is what they're doing to you, America. It's just, it's just a, it's a smog. A, f a fog screen, it's a diversion. So you won't think like, they're taking your job, you know, fucking, okay. Okay, so maybe, you know, a couple guys, you know, are s selling tacos that you could have sold, you know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's taking your job, America? It's, 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 it's corporate America, you know? E I mean, the h hundreds, hundreds, of, of billion dollar corporations or overseas. You know, you wanna protest anybody, protest those fuckers, man. Go ahead, you know, okay, so you protest Pepe, hey, fucking, you know, you took our job, fucking Pepe, and Pepe's like, I can't, can't, can't. <laughs> God, man, you know, that's why you won't really think of the real issue, you know. I've seen it too, it's because, White people, the more they, because the more they show you, you know, Mexicans are coming, the Mexicans are taking your shit, you know. Like, the more you see Mexicans, you ever notice that? You'll drive around and you'll go, fuck, there's another one. <laughs> They're everywhere, holy shit. <laughs> They're gonna take your job, you know, like, like, like if you're gonna go to work and there's gonna be a Mexican sitting in your cubicle. <laughs> your job. <laughs> no, you don't work here no more. <laughs> Arizona has a lot of balls getting rid of the little Oaxaca fuckers, man. <laughs> I've been to Arizona. It's like 120 degrees there, man. I mean, fuck. The devil doesn't even go to Arizona. <laughs> that fucker flies over and goes, fuck, it's hot down there. I wonder what they did. <laughs> it just goes to show you Mexicans will work anywhere, you know, fucking. Work Arizona, fucking that fucking heat. Like, whoa. If you tell, I, I'm telling you, if you tell like, if you tell Mexicans, hey, you know, if you go to the sun, there's some work over there. <laughs> I swear, Mexicans will find a way to get there. They'll be like, vamos, way, vamos. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> when they get rid of those Mexicans, man, I'm sorry, fucking America, you're gonna be fucked, you know. No more salads, man. You can fucking. <laughs> Aren't we fat enough? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know what I don't know? This joke I had, I forgot it. <laughs> Shut up. Now don't worry, don't worry though, America, do not fear. I've seen uh, border patrols, you ever seen, they have this new show, Border Wars, you ever seen that one? They, have, they show border patrol, they're walking around, looking angry, you know, patrolling the border. <laughs> Goddamn Mexicans coming over here, <laughs> taking our jobs. <laughs> Can't stand it! <laughs> you know what I mean, Sanchez? <laughs> I know what you mean, Garcia. 
This is an outrage! <laughs> Honestly, people, so you, I mean, take this, America. Mexican Americans, we feel more Mexican than we feel American. That's the fucking truth. Like, I, you know, like, I know I'm Mexican American, but like, I don't fucking, like, every day go, fuck, I'm Mexican. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know until I go to places where I, 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 people remind me, you know? Because I travel all over the country when I'm, when I'm in places like Alabama, you know, or Orange County. <laughs> I swear, I was, I, was at a, I was at a restaurant at a, one of those Dave and Buster's. I was waiting to get seated, right? And then the lady, she looked, you know, she's like, um, como se llama, you know? <laughs> and I, I was looking for a Mexican. Hey, is a Mexican here? <laughs> oh, shit, that's me, what? <laughs> Me llamo Willie, but, you know? <laughs> Table for those. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, like, like black Americans, African Americans, you feel American what much more than you feel African. <laughs> you know, if you went to Dave and Buster's and someone wants to speak to you in Swahili, <laughs> you'd look around for African, huh? where is he? Oh, fuck, that's me, your mother. <laughs> I swear to God, there's such an anti-Mexican uh, sentiment right now with all the propaganda that they have, you know. Which, look, people, all you got to do is look at the facts, um, you know, through the, throughout history. You could Google shit now and see newspapers from the 20s, which is I really love. I love how they write about the Irish in the 20s of, in America. They, they were filthy, they're dirty, they're not clean, they're bringing diseases, and they're taking all the jobs. <laughs> I say, hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> you, know, the, the, you know, it's a trip here. You know who really wants to get rid of them? Fucking Latinos? But the, there's a group called the Minutemen. You got the Minutemen. You know why they want to? But it just makes sense, right? Because if, you know, Latinos, we're known for being, you know, great lovers, right? <laughs> if I was a minute man, I wouldn't want to get rid of them too. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> You're ruining the curve. Check it out. So I walk in David uh, David Buster's right, and, and, and or uh, it could have been I don't know it was David Buster. I don't know what the fuck it was one of those. But yeah. So anyways, I see a picture. It was a flour tortilla with chicken. I said, "Can I have a burrito?" No, sir. We don't have burritos. It's right here. Look at the picture. It's a burrito. No burritos. It's a wrap. It's a burrito. It's a wrap, sir. That's a fucking burrito! <laughs> it's a wrap, sir. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, I'm telling you, man, before they start calling tacos foldies. <laughs> Can I get a tostada? No, flatties. You guys, you guys married here? Everybody married? Right here? You guys? No, not everybody like this. I went like this, fucker. <laughs> you guys, you married, man? How many years? 15? Me too. Well, I've been married too. <laughs> but I've been with her for like 15. And I said, just said, fuck it, man. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Got kids, shit, you know. <laughs> you guys have kids? How many? 
Four. I said, fuck it, cut it. <laughs> you gonna have more? Oh, don't perpetuate, fucker. Get out of here, fucker. You know, even, even Mexicans are going, knock that shit out, man. <laughs> White people are going, see what I mean? My wife, me and my wife broke up um, a couple of years back. You know, we woke up, we were like, um, cause we got into, a, no, but we're, we're back, we're cool. <laughs> cause we got into one of those, you know, 15 years, anybody here been married a long time, you get into those fucking arguments where like, you just fucking hate each other. <laughs> like, I fucking hate you! <laughs> oh, you can't hate me, cause I fucking hate you! <laughs> And what happened, man, I was, I was, and then you know what happened was, I was, I have all this machismo that I was raised with, with my, my uncles, always telling me about the man, the man, fuck that! <laughs> you know, I was raised with those fucking uncles with the fucking Mexican hats, with the fucking big belt buckles and fucking boots. <laughs> No, no te rajes, buena. Oh, that hurt my neck doing that. Cool. I mean, I was like, you know, we got into an argument, and I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna go fuck. You know? And I finally just said, hey, you know, you don't have to be here. No, but, you know? You want to leave, fucking leave. I don't give a shit. Like a, like a man, you know what I mean? A fucking fearless. The man in me just said, I don't give a shit. You know? Grab your shit, you can go. And go what? And then she, she grabbed a, a plastic bag, one of those big hefty bags. She started throwing shit inside, right? Like, crying all kinds of shit. I mean, filling fucking bags and bags of shit up, right? And the man in me was, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I have a little woman in me, too. <laughs> and she was saying, don't let her go, man. <laughs> Say something. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> She's gonna leave, you're gonna be by yourself. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna cry. Don't cry, dick. <laughs> it's funny because I remember when she left, right? I, like when I was younger, I had girlfriends that like I had like a girl that left me. Cause you know when you're young, youngsters. Like how old are you, brother? Night. Oh fuck. <laughs> how old are you, bro? Thirty. Oh, you, you ain't that young. You're young, but not 19 young. 19 is fucking young. 19 is crazy when you fall in love. 19 is scary, because you fucking, you fall in love, you fall in love, bro. Right? Because you, you, when you're 19 and you say, I never felt like this before. <laughs> you know, it's the truth, because you're only 19. <laughs> I just feel so crazy for you. Like, fucking, I, we believe it, bro. <laughs> like, older guys, you know, we get hurt if you leave, but, but we don't get hurt, hurt, you know? We, we get hurt like, like, oh, man, that's fucked up, you know? <laughs> Come on, babe. But 19, you're like, why? <laughs> You know what that is, bro. I, I know that you don't understand. You have a girlfriend right now, No? Have you had one ever? Did you ever like feel that fucking, the, the great, like when you're around her, you just feel this fucking insane feelings? You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's not really your feelings, it's your testosterone. 
It's your balls. You know how your nutsack is chubby? That's because there's a lot of fucking testosterone, man. That's why you young guys, you have like little chubby balls because there's a lot of fucking testosterone. It's like, scoot over, testing. Forties, man. Fuck. My balls look like a fucked up hacky sack. <laughs> there are like three testosterones left, trying to keep each other alive. Don't die, man. <laughs> Don't die on me, bro. Come on. That's why young guys will fight for their chicks. <laughs> look at you, pat her on the back. It's the true, babe. I love you. <laughs> She's like three feet away. I love you, babe. See, as you've been together, you know, when you're first together, you're fucking like this. You know, after years, hey, fuck, it's hot. <laughs> hey, I love you too. High five, shit. <laughs> I, remember when, I remember when I was 21, I'd walk around with my chick and somebody would check her out, man, or, right, or ask her to dance. I'd snap. Fuck, man. Can't you see I'm holding her hand? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I got it, babe. It's funny, I go dancing with my wife now, right? And some guy will ask her to dance, and I'll be like, thank God. <laughs> my back hurts. Fuck. For you, I don't know. For you, I don't know why. Where, you know what it is. It's a relationship, man. We're so different in many ways. Many ways, and uh, especially love making, man. You know, w women. Women can outlast a man three to one. They've done research. <laughs> that bitch must have been busy. <laughs> I, I just threw it out there. I'm glad you liked it, bro. <laughs> the room did it. <laughs> well, I thought it was clever, fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, they've done research and uh, women can last three. Like, er like every guy in here, however long you can go, your girl can go two more times. <laughs> All right? You know, like any guy in here that thinks he tore it up. <laughs> You did it. Yeah. <laughs> right? We just think we tore it up because we're all dizzy and shit out there. Right? <laughs> you know, there's fucking spots everywhere. We're like. <laughs> oh, shit. That was crazy, huh, babe? <laughs> Right, we don't notice that you're on the other side of the bed going, oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, you tore it up. Bro. <laughs> oh, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, Listen, man, for the young guys, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Don't really, young guys really try to work it. Like, I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna breathe right. I'm gonna control myself. Fuck all that, man. You, you know, it takes women a long time to, to warm up, you know. Women are like an old Cadillac. You youngsters, try to warm up an old Cadillac and you'll see what I mean. You can't just fucking turn it on and leave. You gotta turn it on and stay there for fucking error. <laughs> takes forever that fucking needle to fucking move. <laughs> no, this is 
is what you do. This is what you do, you know, for the young youngsters. Get a vibrator. Get a vibrator for her, man. I'm telling you. You're gonna save yourself a lot of wear and tear. <laughs> it's a miracle worker on your back. The hard part is buying a vibrator, right? When you buy one, because you gotta go get it. You know, you're in line with a dick, you know. Right. You gotta tell people, not not for me, bro. <laughs> you know? Having a vibrator is like having a little homie. <laughs> you know, like, hey, get in there, little dude. <laughs> you know, you let that fucker stay in there for like two hours, you know, and then you just jump in for the closer. <laughs> Listen, you guys, um, you're, a, you're a beautiful, beautiful crowd. I really mean that. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Did you guys have a good time? <laughs> Listen, uh, my name is Willie Barcena, W-I-L-L-I-E, last name Barcena, bar, like drinking. <laughs> and then Sena, like dinner, C-E-N-A. Um, <laughs> So uh, hit me up, Facebook, all that, if you guys want to, you know, hit me up. <laughs> you guys, much love. Thank you very much. Willie Marcena! All right, did you have a good time? Yeah. We appreciate you coming out. Any last second cards? No, no, yes? Could you pass it down real quick somehow? Otherwise. gets a $35 gift certificate off your next visit to the Ice House. I'm out of breath now. <coughs> Pardon me? One more. Two more. Angela Corona. Yeah. Where's Angela? Oh, Angela, round of applause for Angela. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for all the comedians you saw. Who'd you see? Shit, I don't know. Oh, oh, Taryn, yeah. Mary Peterson, Patterson, Broom. Jamie Stone, and of course, Mr. Willie Barcena. I'm Jimmy Burns. Good night. See you later. Bye.